You're watching Carrie TV. Hello, I'm Ken George, District D Representative. And I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary, and this is Cary Matters. We created this program to help keep you informed about issues that the council members are working on for our community. For this episode, we're going to give our quarterly update. Each quarter, council and the leadership staff hold a half-day meeting to receive an update on this past quarter's financial and development data, along with focusing on a few special topic areas. These meetings also allow the council to make budget adjustments. We call this approach our rolling budget process. That's right. And I really enjoy the quarterly meetings. There's a lot of timely and valuable information going on in these meetings. And this one was no exception. There was a lot of information presented. So we can only hit on some of the topics discussed, but we encourage you to check out the entire quarterly report on the town's website at www.townofcary.org. Yeah, go check that out. We kicked off the August quarterly with a focus on our finances. Per our CFO, we are still in great financial shape. Our adopted budget in July 2018 included the necessary flexibility to make a few budget adjustments at this meeting. We'll talk about those in a minute, but first, Harold, why don't you tell us about some of the updates that we received? Okay. Well, we received updates on Marsville Parkway, the Marsville Parkway project, the Cary Parkway High House Intersection project, the Town Hall Pedestrian Bridge, the police body cameras. We also heard about the downtown library and the parking deck that goes along with it, and phase two of the park. All these projects were on schedule, which is really, Amazing. really nice. That's great. And speaking of phase two of the downtown park, I want to take a moment to thank all of those people who participated in the open house that absolutely. we had and in the online surveys. Our consultants were absolutely blown away by the response from the community, and they are so glad to be working in a community where citizen involvement is so great. That's right. Along with projects in place, the council took action on a few project priorities. Uh, council approved funding for routine maintenance, so replacing lights at the Coca Booth Amphitheater. We approved the design study for the Crabtree Greenway connection and the purchase of stormwater measurement devices. These devices will be installed in our creek so the staff can monitor these areas during intense rainstorms. Using this data, we can collect data regarding the storms, the levels of the creeks, and the effectiveness of local infrastructure throughout our community. Another important action we took was traffic signal preemption. This is a technology that is put on traffic signals so first responders can turn the light they're approaching to green to allow the truck and tra traffic passage safely. This technology allows for improved response times and more public safety. Wow. That would be really nice to have that device in my car. <laughs> well, later in the day, we were provided with updates on development and construction. Uh, that included information about the locations of redevelopment, building, and permitting throughout the town. It also provided building trend information. For example, 290 single-family residential permits were issued in the past quarter, which is lower than our five-year quarterly average. However, Fiscal year 18 year to date totals, single family residential permits were actually higher than the past three years. Well, Harold, it seems like we are close to the end of our show, but only halfway through summarizing the meeting. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'll have to wrap it up here. Additional presentations included an update on our alignment of technology platforms, an update on the mayor's Bloomberg challenge, and the official kickoff of our 150th anniversary celebration. Do you mean our sesquicentennial? I'll say that 10 times. Sesquicentennial. <laughs> it was a great meeting, and maybe those topics will make their way into future Carry Matters. We hope so. Well, that's it for this edition of Carry Matters. Your time's important, and we hope that we've shared something that has been valuable to you as we work to bring you closer to your government. So let us know what matters to you 
and maybe we'll talk about it on an upcoming episode. Until then, thanks for watching Carry Matters and thanks for choosing to call Carry home. watching Carrie TV.